electromagnetic waves. An electric current produces magnetic field and we have seen that a changing magnetic field gives rise to an electric field. Maxwell formulated a set of equations involving electric and magnetic fields and their sources. These equations are known as Maxwell's equations. The most important prediction of Maxwell's equations was the existence of electromagnetic waves. Electromagnetic waves or EM waves are the waves that are created as a result of vibration between electric and magnetic field. In other words, EM waves are composed of oscillating magnetic and electric field. Consider an electromagnetic wave propagating along the Z direction. Then the electric field oscillates along the X direction and the magnetic field oscillates along the Y direction. The electric field and magnetic field of an electromagnetic wave are always perpendicular to each other and also perpendicular to the direction of propagation of the wave. According to Maxwell's theory, accelerated charges radiate electromagnetic waves. A charge produces electric field and a moving charge produces magnetic field. Hence, an accelerating charge produces an electromagnetic wave. An oscillating charge is an example for an accelerating charge. An oscillating charge produces electric field in space, which in turn produces magnetic field. And the produced magnetic field in turn produces electric field and the cycle so on goes. The frequency of the electromagnetic wave depends on the frequency of oscillation of the charge. It is seen that stars are the major source of electromagnetic waves and the most basic source of electromagnetic waves is an electric dipole or an electric monopole. Properties of electromagnetic waves Electromagnetic waves are transverse in nature, that is, the magnetic field and the electric field oscillate perpendicular to the direction of propagation. Accelerated charge particle produce electromagnetic waves. Electromagnetic waves move with a constant velocity of 3 into 10 power 8 meter per second, which is the speed of light in vacuum. The speed of light in vacuum is given as C is equal to 1 divided by root of mu naught into epsilon naught, where mu naught is permeability of free space and epsilon naught is permittivity of free space. Mu naught and epsilon naught define the magnetic and electric properties of a medium. Electromagnetic waves do not require a medium to travel. They show the phenomenon of reflection, refraction, diffraction, polarization, etc. Electromagnetic waves transport energy and momentum, in which both energy and momentum are conserved. Pressure is defined as force acting per unit area. Similarly, radiation pressure is defined as force acting per unit area exerted by the electromagnetic radiation. If U is energy, P is a momentum and C is the speed of light, then the momentum P is equal to U divided by C. Here's an example. When the sun shines on your hand, you feel the energy being absorbed onto your hand. Your hand gets warmer. Electromagnetic waves also transfer momentum into your hand. But since the velocity of the wave is very large, the amount of momentum transferred is extremely small. Hence, the pressure felt by your hand is extremely small, which we can say is approximately zero. Electromagnetic spectrum is a distribution of electromagnetic radiation according to their frequency or wavelength. There is no sharp division between one kind of wave and the next. The classification is based roughly on how the waves are produced or detected. Radio waves Radio waves are produced by accelerated charges in conducting wires.
Radio waves are generally in the frequency range of 500 kilohertz to about 1000 megahertz and a wavelength range of 0.1 meter to 100 kilometer. The AM or amplitude modulated band is from 530 kHz to 1710 kHz. The FM or frequency modulated radio band extends from 88 MHz to 108 MHz. The uses of radio waves are it is used in radio and television broadcasts. It is used in cellular phone to transmit voice communication. It is used in the navigation and control of air traffic. Microwaves. Microwaves are also called as short wavelength radio waves. Microwaves are produced by special vacuum tubes. They are generally in the frequency range of 300 megahertz to 300 gigahertz and a wavelength range of 1 meter to 1 millimeter. The uses of microwaves are, it is used in radar systems, in aircraft navigations, microwave ovens, in speed guns used to time fastballs, tennis serves and automobiles. Infrared rays, also called as IR radiations, were discovered by Herschel. They are produced by hot bodies and molecules. Infrared rays are sometimes referred to as heat waves. They generally lie in the frequency range of 3 into 10 power 11 hertz to about 4 into 10 power 14 hertz and a wavelength range of 1 millimeter to 730 nanometer. Infrared radiations also play a very important role in maintaining the Earth's average temperature through greenhouse effects. Incoming visible light is absorbed by the Earth's surface and re-radiated as infrared radiations. These radiations are trapped by greenhouse gases such as carbon dioxide and water vapor. Uses of IR radiations Infrared lamps are used in physiotherapy. It is used to relax sore muscles. Infrared detectors are used in earth satellites. Electronic devices like LEDs also emit IR rays and are widely used in remote switches. It is used to dehydrate fruits and vegetables. It is also used in solar water heaters and cookers. Visible rays it is the part of the spectrum that is detected by the human eye. It falls in the frequency range of 4 into 10 power 14 hertz to about 7 into 10 power 14 hertz and a wavelength range of about 700 nanometer to 400 nanometer. Human eye is sensitive to this range of wavelength. Different animals are sensitive to different ranges of wavelengths. Examples, snakes can detect infrared rays and many insects can see in the ultraviolet range. Uses of visible rays. It is used in overhead projectors and movie or cinema screening. It is used in light bulbs and it is also used in photographic films. Ultraviolet rays or UV rays. The ultraviolet radiations were discovered by Ritter. They are produced by special lamps or very hot bodies. The sun is an important source of ultraviolet light. It covers a frequency range of 7.5 into 10 power 14 hertz to 3 into 10 power 16 hertz and a wavelength range of about 4 into 10 power minus 7 meters to 6 into 10 power minus 10 meters. The ultraviolet rays in large quantities is harmful on the humans. Exposure to ultraviolet radiation induces the production of more melanin causing the tanning of the skin. The ozone layer in the atmosphere plays a very important role in protecting the earth from the ultraviolet radiations. The ozone layer absorbs the ultraviolet radiations at an altitude of 40 km to 50 km. The ultraviolet radiation is also absorbed by ordinary glass. Hence, the welders use special goggles to protect their eyes from large amount of ultraviolet radiations produced by welding arcs. Uses of ultraviolet radiation Ultraviolet radiation is used in eye surgery LASIK. It is used to kill germs in water purification.
fire. It is also used in forensic science. X-rays. X-rays were discovered by W. Ranjin. They are generated in X-ray tubes when a metal target is bombarded by high-energy electrons. It covers a wavelength range from about 10 power minus 8 meters to 10 to the power of minus 13 meters and a frequency range of 3 into 10 power 16 hertz to 3 into 10 power 19 hertz. X-rays have high penetrating power and are harmful to living tissues. Uses of X-rays X-rays is used to detect fractures. It is used to treat certain forms of cancer. It is used to detect flaws, faults and cracks in metals, usually in heavy machines. It is also used in the study of crystal structure. Gamma rays. Gamma rays lie in the upper frequency range of 3 into 10 power 20 hertz in the electromagnetic spectrum and they have a wavelength of about 10 power minus 10 meters to less than 10 power minus 14 meters. They are emitted by radioactive nuclei and produced in nuclear reactions. Gamma rays have very high penetrating power and are very hazardous to living organisms. Uses of gamma rays. Gamma rays is used in the treatment of cancer and it is also used to sterilize medical equipments.